Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday, October 29th. And this week is probably one of the busiest in the semester. I want to take you guys through it because I guess this is what shows you really what my life is like. So stay tuned and enjoy. Date. So I finished my first class, which is networks. For those of you who are interested, networks is how the internet works, how routers work. So basically now you're connected to a router to watch the video that I'm posting. How that is actually possible, how this communication is possible. Pretty interesting class, don't want to go too much into details. And then I attended office hours. So I'm going to head back to the dining courts, have a meal real quick, and then head over to my sales class. I'll tell you more about the sales class when the time comes. But right now it's about noon, 12.10 something like that so this is just a quick update so it's 2 30 p.m 2 35 and i'm back in my room as you can see this is almost a halfway point in my day I finished two classes the network computer networks that i talked about I went to the office hours. The office hours were for a class called optimization. It's uh, an industrial engineering course. I'm taking it because uh, like, as an engineer, you have to take at least one course from a different engineering major. It's a requirement. Uh, the course is pretty interesting, to be honest. Uh, lectures can get a little bit boring, but the application, you can see how this can be applied to real life. And then the last class I had today was my sales class. Very interesting, probably one of my favorite this semester because my true passion is talking, communicating with people. So that includes consulting, sales, all that kind of stuff. So I really like it. I don't have to put much effort into it because I'm really interested, but that's, that's a great thing. So I'm back here now. I take this time of the day to use the bathroom. Obviously using my own bathroom is better than using the public ones. I pray and I head over to, so today I have to TA uh, computer science class. It's an introductory class. I've been TAing it. This is, I think, my fourth semester. So I'm gonna head over to that. That's gonna take two hours. Basically, for those wondering, time where we're in a lab, a computer lab, and I run the lab for two hours. So I go around, I help people complete the assignment, answer any questions, help explain something. Because uh, a lot of the times, especially students who have labs on Tuesday, which is today, um, they either didn't cover the material on the lab or they covered it on, on the same day. So you can imagine they don't have the full understanding. After that, I'm gonna have office hour, like I'm gonna attend office hours from around 5.30 to 8. And then after 8, I'm gonna head back to my room and I'll update you then. <laughs> to the last stop of the day, which is the office houses for the computer networks class that I was talking about. We're working on a project right now where we're essentially creating routers in a sense. We're making great progress with that. I'm teaming up with uh, my friend Omar. Probably put a picture of him here. But yeah, this is the last stop. Probably spend like two hours and then head back and grab a meal when I'm done. Up to finish a two hour lab right now. Heading over to the dining court to have the second meal of the day. I usually have a meal at noon, as I already updated you guys, and a meal at around this time. So it's around 8 20, 8 25. After this, I'm going to be sitting with a friend to go over some questions and past exams. He missed a few lectures, so we want to make sure he's in good shape for tomorrow. And then I'll probably stay up till one doing some homework. It's just came in. This is an approval that I can officially work in the United States for a year after graduation. The only uh, condition is 
I have to have an offer within 60 days of graduation. But without this paper, or on, like there's a card that's gonna be mailed to me, I can't leave the United States, which means that I, up until today, I didn't know whether I was gonna go back to Dubai in December or not. It can take for a very long time. But yeah, this is a great feeling. <laughs> It is 12.35 a.m. I am done with my day, finally. I've, I met with my friend, as you saw the, in the Speed It Up video. I sat there, I did some homework. I sent a pretty important email. Um, pretty, pretty tired. I need to sleep now. Wake up at seven and head over to Senior Design. Today, uh, tomorrow, I mean, is gonna be, technically it's today. It's gonna be a pretty big day. Last midterm for a really important subject. Hope that goes well. But in order for that to happen, I need to have some good sleep. See you in the morning. A few quick updates. I'm meeting with an advisor because Purdue has this program, it's called the dual degree program. Basically, after you graduate, you have the option to spend two more years at Purdue and get a master's degree in engineering in an engineering discipline of your choice and an MBA. And the best part about this is that if you're a TA during those two years or if you do research, they have the option where they pay for your tuition and they have a monthly, you can consider it a salary or a stipend. But I want to discuss this further. Uh, personally, I don't want to continue or do masters in computer science, computer engineering, any of that stuff. If there's an engineering discipline that I might be interested in, it's industrial engineering, and the advisor was an industrial engineering advisor. The master's program, or at least the one I'm interested in, has nothing to do with like engineering. It has more to do with people and how to utilize, like basically managing teams and things like that. The resources, managing resources, but these resources are people, not just like objects or raw material. So she told me a few things, uh, but basically the deadline is January 5th, which is, it's, it's, it's far from now, but I mean, I graduated in December 15th. I haven't done the GRE, which is a standardized exam that you have to do in order to go to graduate school. I mean, it's not an, it's not a cheap exam. It needs some preparation, which I haven't done. I have never done a practice exam before. So it, 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 it takes time. It takes time. <laughs> let me, let me just, uh, energize a little bit. Okay. Point is, uh, if, like when I graduate, I don't hear back from any companies. There's nothing happening in the future. I'm just gonna apply. I'm gonna do the GRE. I'm gonna apply. Uh, the thing is, even this January 5th deadline is for next fall, so August. Uh, so it might be a temporary solution. That's one option. Besides that, what happened was an exam grade came out for one of my exams. It's an industrial engineering course that I'm taking. And I got an 86. I'm not saying this to show off my grades and I'm not saying this to be one of those guys like, oh, he cries if he doesn't get a 90. No, I genuinely worked hard. And when I looked at the grading, how like they took points off of, like they were for pointless reasons. I felt robbed and that really, really, really triggered me. I don't like, and no one likes, putting effort into something and really like you folk I focused on the exam I made sure my answers were right and then they come and they check for like the smallest mistakes and just take points off for no reason this really um, was a turning point in my day and then during that time I got two rejection letters from companies that I applied to in the past one of them I wasn't really crazy about and the other one was a decent company so it was kind of like hmm. uh, what we say in Arabic is alhamdulillah for everything which means uh, thanks goes to God for everything. Everything happens for a reason. I believe in that. Uh, what, I, what I usually do is at this, like with this mental state, with this emotional state, I head over to the gym and I just blow some steam, you know, working out. But I have an exam. I'm pretty tired. I still have some work to do. Uh, so in a few seconds, you're going to see a time lapse. I, I'm going to fill out a regrade request for that exam because I'm not happy. And then I'm going to do a little bit of preparation for my exam at night. So everything you saw was f um, doing the regrade request and finalizing the homework for the same class. It took me a while. Uh, right now I'm gonna work on some last minute preparation for the exam. Uh, it's, it's not really a preparation, it's like going over a paper. 
not too stressful. But I realized I forgot my laptop charger somewhere. It's not in my bag, which it almost always is. So this is a fun time now. Look for it in like around campus. Our campus is massive. And uh, yeah, I don't know where to start. I mean, probably gonna start with senior design. That's the only place I took my laptop out and charged it. Besides that, it was in the dining court where I checked my grade and I saw that 86. But I, I don't think it came out. When, like when I pulled my laptop out, I don't think the charger came out. So I'm probably gonna head over to senior design maybe before my exam just to secure it. Uh, after the exam, I can just chill. Uh, that's why I stopped uh, the time lapse because I was kind of charging my phone through the laptop because this cable obviously doesn't reach the tripod stand right here. I don't know if like these these time time lapses that wasn't super interesting, so I'm not gonna do it again. I'll just um, I'll just give you an update once I go outside into this weather and look for my um, laptop charger. It's probably the most exciting thing that's happening today, looking for my laptop charger. Okay, so we just finished, what is this? We just finished our exam, and I'm turning the lights in our scene design. I forgot my charger, this is where I'm looking. My man Anis is just chilling right here. But yeah, I I mean, I checked my, that my charger's there, so I'm not gonna pretend like I'm surprised. <laughs> it's right here, this guy. So, let me just do this. So here's here's the full image. This is my part. This is me. And then this is some, like I think my teammates spent, I don't know how long on something like this. And this is another teammate's part. Yeah, it's a pretty simple project. Not, not Nothing much is going on. I'm gonna get some food, head back to my room, probably get some stuff. Proof to how much weight I lose Every semester, I bought these jeans in summer and they were pretty tight. I don't want to show you guys my underwear, but look at how big it is. But because of how much I had to tighten my belt, it broke. Because I had to pull on it so hard to make sure the jeans are on my waist. So yeah guys, this is part of the life of an engineer. I don't know, people gain weight, I lose weight. So this is, this is my belt right now. Oh, look at this. Wow. <laughs> like, what the heck is this? Yeah. I have to find a replacement, but welcome to my life. You know, you, you think as an engineer, I deal with like actual problems during my day. So earlier I had the, the lost charger or the forgotten charger. Now I have this, uh, this thing, you know, there's a flap and this is stuck over. So this is just a mission as an engineer, computer engineer. I'm supposed to be in one of the toughest majors and I can't figure this out. And there's, there's almost literally no way besides trial and error and one of two things is gonna happen. I'm either gonna hurt myself, or I'm gonna like break this. There's no way the zipper is gonna go back to normal. If anyone has like tips on how this, like how to avoid this, because I tried not to use this as much as I can, but it's the main compartment in my bag, so that there's not much I can do. But yeah, if you guys have tips for how to take it out of the state in a faster way, let me know. My man Anis just put me to shame. Uh, you know, I'm the guy who does muscle ups and like pull ups and makes it and pretends like he's big and then my friend here Easy quick just pulled it out put it back in place This is what our friends are for right just fixing each other's uh, <laughs> bags Anyway, yeah, just an update on the morning It is Thursday, October 31st Around 8.53 p.m. a.m. And I'm late on Everest, I'm only class today. I suppose to snow. I got my trusty jacket on. But I only have a class, one class today. Should be an interesting day though. Keep you guys updated. <laughs>
I think I did a really, really bad job of keeping you guys updated with everything. I had only one class. I had a homework assignment, which I worked on with uh, my friends. And then I had a quick meal, came back, prepared for tomorrow's interview, which I had no prior experience with. I've never, I've never, in, I, don't, I don't even remember applying for this position. It's for a consultant, associate consultant position. So the way it goes is tomorrow we're gonna have a resume discussion. Basically, they're gonna go through my resume and they're gonna ask me questions. They're gonna, you know, ask me things like, oh, some of your challenges, some of your successes, that kind of stuff. We're gonna go through something like a case interview where they're gonna say, suggest a hypothetical case or a case that might have happened to them in the past and how I would recommend we approach it. So I practiced on that a little bit and then I had to go to the dentist, fix my uh, my braces. Basically the plan is we need to get the braces off before graduation. I want to be able to smile without any of this metal stuff in my teeth. So um, I made sure the doctor knows I'm graduating. I'm going to be visiting him again uh, in less than a month just to make sure everything is on track and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully by next month, everything should be good. Uh, for those who don't know, I just put braces. This is the second time and I put it just to adjust my bite. After that, I came back to campus. I went to a meeting with one of my teammates on a team, uh, on, a, on a project. Made some progress with that. Actually, he did a lot of work on his own and I really appreciate it. And then I sat a f for a few minutes with another of my teammates. And then I came, I had a meal and then I'm back in my room ready to practice some interview questions with my bananas and my water. I don't think I'm gonna record another update tonight because I'm just gonna be a little bit focused on my prep, but I'll definitely uh, record an update video after the interview is done and probably when I wake up tomorrow. But yeah, um, I think this is where the week is gonna take a little bit of a dip in terms of things happening. Yesterday was the midterm, tomorrow is the interview. After that's just the weekend and I have another midterm to study for, so I think Tomorrow might be the last day where I record um, my, my day, kind of, in, in terms of what happens. But in the weekend, I'll probably record some of my cheat meals or some other things that I think some people might be interested in. For now, I'll see you tomorrow. <music>
besides this my day today i had senior design a class which honestly i'm just i'm just having mixed feelings about it because like i go and i sleep i don't go i feel guilty i don't know and then i skipped my other class because i just came back i had to prepare make sure I'm, I'm i'm well rested and everything i'm ready i'm glad i did that i wasn't feeling too great i was just really sleepy so this has been my week i i don't i don't know if this was the most exciting thing for you to watch but it's just kind of the reality of everything i'm not even done with my day it's 5 10 let me find the exact time it's 5 15 and uh i still have office hours to go to they start at 5 30 and at 8 30 um next week i have an exam uh which i'm gonna spend most of the weekend studying for so I, you, can, you guys can imagine like life at West Lafayette isn't the most exciting. It definitely has its ups and downs. And I wouldn't say life in just West Lafayette specifically. I would say life in college. Uh, most of the time you're just, just completing tasks, meeting deadlines. Every now and then you have interviews or you have some trip to make. Next week I have a really cool trip. So I hope that'll be a little more exciting for you to watch. But for now, I, I hope this was somewhat informative, useful. Uh, hopefully, I, I really hope I edit this in a really nice way to make it enjoyable. I don't want this to be just me talking in the room or just like, I'll, I'll see what I can do about this. I'll see what I can do. But if not, I hope you guys understand. I tried my best uh, to, to record like the most exciting parts of every day. So if this wasn't that exciting, I hope you're not disappointed. But this is the reality of everything and we're always open, we're always honest. And I love that. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Peace. <laughs> Imagine, I forgot. <laughs> now, peace. One last thing before you leave the College Success Playlist right here contains all the videos that are relevant to my success in college. This includes academic success, success maintaining my physical, well being, my mental, emotional, everything you need to know. I constantly update it. If you found the previous video helpful, you'll definitely found, find this helpful. So make sure you check it out and I'll see you there.